This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 491. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studio. It's just me and producer Missy hanging out here. We didn't even have the dog with us today. He's been hanging out a little bit with us. It's been fun. Uh, but we got with us, uh, first of all, Chilla is on work assignment with Big Bank International, doing bank big international things. Uh, so he is not with us tonight, uh, last minute change. But the Dutters is back with us as well how you doing dutters hi how's it going i'm wearing a pork chop express t-shirt yeah oh yes yes i would i would like show you more but there's toothpaste on the shirt (laughs) i didn't notice that i did that earlier (laughs) i am a if you give me 20 minutes i could find mine it's up in the attic something they also have toothpaste on it (laughs) i without toothpaste without good okay the toothpaste free edition um i I see you got the animal crossing on in the background how how's the island going Good. I built a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> so things I want, are someone, just fine. Things are great. No. <laughs> just, I want people to just come to my island and be like, what horrible massacre happened on the top of this hill? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> also with us, your Uncle Crappy, Mike Pound, with us as well, sir. Howdy. I'm technically still working. So You're technically. At this point, I'm, 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 okay, not technically. I'm still working, but... I, you know, if I'm facing, if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm doing something that's involved with work. But if I'm back here, I'll, we'll, we'll try to do both. Well, I have, it, it'll be. If we make some news for you to write about, does that count? Ooh. Uh, I won't be writing about it, but I might be editing it later. Like okay. By the end of the show, <laughs> it will it. probably work through uh, the thing. And then, so yeah. But, you know, don't do that. Just, no, don't do that. Wait, we've does, got, does that we've mean you doing show notes? Oh, are you doing show notes? Is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Missy, you got ah. the night off apparently. So. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, so the work. Uh, so you have definitely adjusted to the work from home uh, life over the last month. It seems. Uh for uh, this is um week six, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, the start of week six. I, it's uh, it's it's difficult, and this is I, I can I can talk about this later, but um, it, it's. In in a practical sense, yes, it's mm-hmm. fine, I, and mm-hmm. I can I can do I, absolutely everything that uh, I I did in the newsroom I can do from here, um, but there are just kind of other uh, not logistical stuff. But this is this is a this is a drag. It is a slog. It is difficult, mm-hmm. um, and, and I and I, I'm I'm surprised by that. So I thought at this by this point I would be used to everything, and that's I, still, that's still not the case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That took me several years to get used to working from the house, to be honest. Okay. So, okay. Uh, how are the cats handling it? Are, yeah, how are the cats handling it? Uh, they are all over me. They're um, they're downstairs eating right now, so oh, okay. I, I think I get a reprieve, but um, I, I posted a bunch of pictures. I mean, it's like draped all over my desk. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, there was one or here, one here, one looking out the window. Um, if, if I'm, if Kelly's at work or doing something else, I'm, I'm, I am the center of cat attention. So it's fun, not super productive, but I, we're having a good time. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to, to catch up with you here on this episode here. Uh, but anyways, guys, please go check out everything at awesomecast.com. You can find this in past episodes, old interviews. We have a lot of guests over the years in our near 10 years of awesome cast uh, coming up here in a couple months here. Uh, you can uh, uh, tweet us at awesome cast. Please join the Facebook page and group. The group has a lot of great conversation, including stories that you guys submit that we do work into the show. And, and it's really where I put all the stories that I know I'm looking at for the week to see if I can get any feedback from 
from you guys as well. Um, all you can please subscribe to rate us and rate us on your favorite podcast app, wherever you are listening or watching us right now, whether that be live here, uh, we're here every Tuesday on Facebook live and a myriad of other sources now. Uh, but the chat room is on Facebook live, or if you're listening as, as a podcast or video later, please like subscribe, please above all share that. If you like what's going on, be like, Hey guys, check out the latest episodes. It's a lot of fun or whatever that opinion may be. Um, but please share it, help the awesome cast, uh, 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 uh listeners grow uh like i said we're here every tuesday uh 7 p.m eastern time on facebook live but we are also streaming on the periscope on the uh the the, the youtube for awesome cast and on the sorgatron media twitch i'm pointing because i actually have the chat rooms up across the desk here um on the iphone fives and fours and and nexus sevens that that we showed off uh, uh last week on on one of the videos so um, but yeah, we are all over the place and uh, thank you everybody that's watching us wherever you are. I see a couple people, uh, on a couple of those other platforms. So hello, if you are new to the awesome cast, um, and also thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast, uh, still supporting the show. Thank you so much, especially through these times. Our friends at the coffee club level, uh, Matt Weller, John DeGore and John Carmen, our friends at the, uh, fan of the show level, Michael Fedor and pghmuseums.org. Thank you, everybody, that's been supporting the show. You can support the show if you like what's going on to keep us rolling to make sure we can get through another 10 years at patreon.com slash awesome cast. All right, guys, let's get let's get into our awesome thing of the week. And I, I, we're, we're, we're definitely we're definitely having fun this week. Uh, from the looks of, we are, OK, let's roll back. We already talked a little bit about Animal Crossing, so I, I want to continue that conversation with Katie here. Um, so I. I followed this epic encounter that gave me um, social FOMO this weekend through your Instagram <laughs> account, by the way. Um, tell, tell us about your, your, your big hot weekend on Animal Crossing. Um, as I've talked about before, a lot of times I play Animal Crossing. I'll either visit my niece's island or she'll come visit me and we'll play. And uh, she's going to be five here in May. And uh, she wanted to throw a party on her island. Mm -hmm. So she invited myself and um, her teacher, which was awesome, and her, her teacher's son and one of her best friends over for her party on her island, which was super cool. Uh, we played a few games. My brother created this. It took, I think it took, he told me it took three hours to do this. <laughs> and we were done in like 10, you know, it's, it's only like it's less than a minute mm -hmm. and we're done. Uh, but created a, uh, he used the fence, some of the fencing tools and made a, an obstacle course that we had to run across <laughs> the island uh, through trees, jump over holes, you know, jump over the water and uh, race. It was a race to see who could get to the uh, finish first. And it was a lot of fun. And then the other game was they had a big area he cleared out and he buried rocks and flowers and a star. So the rocks were worth zero. The flowers were worth one point and the star was worth, I think, three points and so you were we were all you know he buried them across it's like a field of like x's of things buried so you it, so in three minutes we were all released in this field and we had to see who could get the most points by digging up flowers and uh who could find the star and then whenever that was done with um we had a winner and we all got prizes and it was a lot of fun and it was it was definitely it was a really good time and it was a real neat it sounds like there's going to be some updates coming up i didn't realize this i just heard a few minutes ago from my brother um, that there's going to be some updates where there's going to be a pirate ship and some pirate activities. So there might be some more like interactive elements on your, you know, islands to play with friends and maybe not a lot less of us just trying to create our own fun. Wow. Well, and, that, and that's, that's coming like uh, in, a, in a day or two, right? I think that's yeah. what I read this morning. Okay. Okay. It's tough to look forward to. So that's a, that's a big thing again, and I and I loved uh, following it on uh, your your feed because it was it you were kind of given a play by play of everything that was going on over there, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, that was a lot of fun to follow. But it, you know, again, it, you know, I keep seeing these like new tools and like that you can create uh, these games and everything in there. Like, were you guys on were you guys on some kind of like like you know uh, 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 FaceTime or something uh, no. all together at the time? No, so what's what's neat? It's 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 good and bad. So there's the option on you can actually do the chat on you know with your controller, or mm -hmm. you can do it on your phone, okay. which is really nice. So if you go into the Nintendo Online, you select the game, and you're able to type using you know like text. But the the number of characters is really weird mm -hmm. because more often than not that they just 
things don't fit. So you end up doing like Twitter speak <laughs> like later. In. <laughs> like, like, it's like, it's like, like 30 characters or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, so if it was a little bit longer, be better, but it's, I mean, it's understandable. At least it's something better than what we have, but that's all we use. And it actually worked out well that I went over earlier in the day and tested out the games. Mm-hmm. Um, I was on FaceTime with Charlotte. Uh, we were testing out the games. So <laughs> that I was able to kind of, when the race started, people kind of went the wrong way, but I knew where to go. So they followed me. So, you know, so it worked out really well with, you know, basic typing instructions. It's like, wait, wait, wait. So were you, were you like kind of hearkening back to how you always send everybody on beta tests of haunts back in the day and now you yeah. were beta testing this experience <laughs> in digital <Yes>. world? <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I did. I did invite Charlotte over to see my graveyard at on my island. She thought that was really cool. That's really foreboding in the background because <laughs> I mean, you you have a little bit of the like we can't like the screen is a little faded and <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. Um. Well. Uh. So I have a note here for for Crappy's awesome thing in the week, and it says it's just mowing. Uh, it's literally just mowing. It's literally. And this was, just I, I, I I could not. I I I had to look. Um. As a, a, a Pittsburgh Twitter guy, uh, his handle is uh, Beard and Blazer. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. He, uh, he posted something about this maybe last weekend. And I'm like, I, I, okay, I'm curious. What is this? It's literally just my, you look, go look in the app store. And it's literally just a guy on a riding mower mm-hmm. going back and forth. You're presented with lawns. And you cut the grass. Um, you can upgrade your mower uh, depending on how much stuff you cut or how many butterflies you find. And that's it. That's it. I got the video. And I keep and and people just saw I, me I, start downloading it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I find myself and Animal Crossing has been awesome for this. Mm. I find myself looking for. I don't want to say mindless because it's not, mm-hmm. but just just sort of these activities that you can just sort of focus on and let all of the other garbage that's going on sort of melt away for a little while. And as I said, Animal Crossing has been spectacular for that. Um, and I, I, I'm I I, I got to get to the point where I get to other people's islands. I am not. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, um, come this, in, Okay, I will. Uh, but this in small doses um, has has been the same thing. Uh, I, I just, I, you know, I, I, I sit down, uh, when I'm done with work today and done with this, I will sit down and have some dinner and just, and go cut the, the, uh, lawns of, uh, of 47 people. Um, the guy, uh, he, he looks, uh, with the sun hat on, he looks like he's sort of Irish Amish, really red hair. <laughs> it's probably good. It's probably good that he has, it's probably good that he has the sun hat on because yeah. I think he gets burned pretty easily. Just, uh, just wow. as a guess. But, um, I, I just. It also it also says interesting things about how you cut your own grass. Mm-hmm. Do you outline first? Do you go, mm-hmm. start to the left and then go around. You do clockwise. It, it, it's um, I'm 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 discovering that uh, that I, I definitely have some habits as far as that stuff goes. Well, but the other the other anyway. the other question is is like how, how is your own grass the actual grass doing? <laughs> uh backyard is coming it's always shaky at this point of the year the yeah. side yard which i'm i'm looking at out this one not looking at but it's i'm facing out this window um i i i cannot kill it it, it grows like crazy it's it's uh <laughs> it, it does really well the front yard still looks like a science project okay um okay not much actual grass growing Okay. Uh, and and so, and uh, yeah. Mrs. Crappy says I, I've given her one more summer to try to figure that out, and if it doesn't, we're going to blow it all up and just put landscaping up there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. I, I just want to make sure it's not taken away from the real grass for the virtual grass. And I don't know. Uh, no. I think that should no. be a new segment on the show where we just tell you what we've been up to for the week, and you have to guess whether it's digitally or in real life. Oh yeah, we already had that, like <laughs> Animal Crossing or real life. Was, was it last week? Where was was I talking about fishing last week on the show when Chachi said fishing? he went fishing? And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, you're not talking about Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like this <laughs> week where I talked about my lawnmower what two weeks ago. Yeah, and now Crabby's uh-huh. talking about the game. Virtual I thought you could talk about it. Someone just someone just gave me a lawnmower. One of one of my one of my island people just gave me a lawnmower too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but um, in the uh, I'll, I'll figure out something. They all mesh yeah. together. This is a new show we could do. Um, <laughs> 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 well, here's another real life thing that I love that this this came over. Um, and 
man, if we had a little more budget on this show, we would probably apply it to this show. Um, because you can invite a llama to your next corporate Zoom meeting uh, or video call for under $100. So this is a farm out in the Silicon Valley. And you can rent. And they, I guess they just put a camera on a llama. And it's a li- real life llama. <laughs> And um, in the middle of reacting to things, uh, let's see. You can it's the under hundred dollars. Uh, 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 it, it's Sweet Farm uh, since launching the service uh, called uh, Goat to Meeting. Goat, of to course, meeting. Of course that's what it's called. Last month, uh, they filled in more than three hundred requests for animal cameos and virtual field trips uh, for work happy hours and corporate meetings. Uh, they also, oh, what do they say? They have uh, do, 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 goats and other farm animals as well. Like, can I get a pig on my call? Like, is that what I can do? Uh, it's wow. I, I I can do a cat for like five bucks. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, oh, there's it's a, really there's easy, a easy. There's an opportunity, right? What is the cat going <laughs> to stay there? Are you just going to? I mean, you're not. Also, you don't know which side of the cat you're getting. You're like cat butt or that's extra. That's extra. Cat butts are extra, <laughs> absolutely. If the cat turns around, <laughs> you get an extra charge. So let's see. You can pay. Oh, geez, I'm getting through some more of these details here. Um, it says people can pay anywhere from sixty-five dollars to two hundred fifty dollars for various interactions, which include uh, goats, sheep, pigs, cows, turkeys, and llamas. Uh, llamas is by far the most popular choice, because of course. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So the llamas are under a hundred bucks. What is two fifty? Is it multiple pigs? This is like, this is like weird, like animal custom videos on live stream. It's um, jeez. What did this farm do? It must have been a petting zoo or something, right? Yeah, educate, inspire, innovate is a sweet farm website. So it's just kind of converting things to kind of like we talked about um, uh, Snapology last week, right? Uh, they they were an on location educational. Uh, a place and they just move their stuff to online so there you go so you can check that out sweetfarm.org uh for that uh so uh, katie what would you do with with llama renting like if <laughs> i know you don't have you probably don't have a lot of online meetings uh, other than uh, uh hanging out with us once a week in animal crossing but uh <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna do probably a, a my niece's birthday is next month so i think we're gonna end up doing a zoom call nice for all of us to get together so maybe i would need it for that oh perfect <laughs> look, and I'm, look i got you a pony <laughs> 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 i mean i would just to see my sister-in-law's reaction it might be worth it mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. just to have her what are you because i'm already like you know auntie t is just the the wild one and she knows you know anything could happen i'm like the wild card in the family <laughs> You're not the one that gives them the toys that make sound. You're the one that gives them the toys that that you have to feed. <laughs> yes, would be that one. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, hey, other great things that you can still enjoy uh, even when you are uh, home uh, homebound, like many of us are these days. Our good friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Four locations in Pittsburgh. I think even Krabby, you're all the way out there in Bellevue still, right? And even you can get some. Uh, last I mean, night in, in Breakpoint and 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 the uh, the um the, the PNC Park location continues to be a lifesaver. Absolutely. Who would have thought Continues. something out something out of that park is a lifesaver? Uh, <laughs> so, and that's our, of course our good friends at Slice on Broadway. Thank you so much. These guys have been supporting us through the majority of our ten years of the awesome cast. And uh, and and then thank it's good to uh, check in with them and make sure everything's going well. It looks real busy up there. So thank you everybody. Thank you thank you everybody on the show. That's been I, I know I've been getting some messages here and there and say they're going to get some slice uh to support their local business and uh really do appreciate that you guys are doing that and helping us our friends helping out our friends here in the city uh that have been helping us for so long in these times so thank you so much for them check them out slice on broadway.com let's see we got uh chachi still playing video games because what else would he be doing uh when he's not actually apparently fishing actually actually fishing is the thing he's doing (laughs) otherwise but uh hop over to gamejourney.com he's still going somebody i can't believe this uh somebody actually posted this is from my wrestling circles what was the game boy was it basically an nes i was like well yes but uh so i got young guys in my circles unfortunately that don't know what the don't know the good old days, Katie. Uh, 
<laughs> so, I don't understand. No, but uh, go over to GameTrain.com. He's still uh, hitting up a lot of mobile. There's a lot of mobile games because it's all that DS and Game Boy Advance and everything like that. I know he's been getting into the Mario and Luigi games. Uh, uh, those kinds of, If you're looking for something to, to kind of throw back to, um, he's got a good list of games, and he's got uh, uh, links to see where you can get those games today. Whether they be um, or whether they be on archive.org or you can like still purchase a copy for any platform. Some of these games, of course, get re relaunched for uh, whether it be like your Nintendo Switch or Xbox or something. Like that. I've been playing. I've been playing like like Final Fight and Metal Metal Gear or not Metal Gear Metal Slug uh, and Art of Fighting on my <laughs> Xbox lately. So um, it's really good to throw back to those. Dave Ponder has some up oh, my app crashed uh <laughs> dave bonner of course is on the iphone tip it was weird there was a hey guys did you know there's a new iphone this week <laughs> that one came out um it's it's weird that that is not with a big announcement but of course without press events they're just kind of dropping stuff apple's just like here's some stuff we can't show you it we don't have stores open except for like one in singapore or something um and uh but here here's an iphone se um i have fun <laughs> did you guys follow this or are any of you like looking at this as an option <laughs> so I think for my mom for your mom yeah yeah because uh she definitely needs upgrade she's got a six i don't know six s maybe okay and it's it's she, it's glitching really really bad mm -hmm. and but she doesn't need the x or the 11 you know what i mean like she's she's like i just want something that's kind of because i think this is supposed to be the se is supposed to be the replacement for the eight Yes. which is what you have yes. and you seem to really like it. And it has the, fe she just wants a better camera and that's all she's asking for right now. And, and I think it might be good for her. So a lot of the specs, obviously, I mean, the camera's not going to be up to snuff with what the, like the 11s are or anything, yeah. but the chip inside from what I understand is, is kind of on par with that. Right. So it mm -hmm. is, it is kind of the newer thing. You're going to get more rounds of the upcoming iOS you're going to get those like from a six, a six success. Is it the yeah. MSs on that one? Um, I can't remember. So I mean, that is like that is like four years of iPhone. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to be improved. So, like she's she's going to notice uh, at that yeah. point, right? <laughs> um, but, she just doesn't want to spend you know over a thousand dollars for a phone. No, 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 no. So just... and also these days, I'm kind of happy I have a thumbprint when I have to wear my ask, mask and sheets. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were having that problem. Oh, God, you know, so I'm like, I'm, I'm doing, I'm at the, you know, getting chemo today and I'm responding and it's like every time and I'm like, putting my code in, putting my code in, putting my code in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this is, and it's like, I don't know who you are. And then I'm trying to sign into things and I'm like, I don't know who you are. I'm like, you know me, this is my face. I'm just going to take a picture of myself in a mask going forward. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what my phone's going to know me as. And I'll just like go to take the picture and I'll just put my hand in front of my mouth like this. Like, see, it's me. Perfect. It's me. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I wonder if you can retake it like with the mask on now. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you update? Well, there was huh. there was always there was uh, well I know uh, uh, the little bit I've used it, I know there's there's something about like when you start it and then like maybe you then have glasses on or off or something mm -hmm. like that and you can like confirm yes that's me maybe you just need to start over and then when you like because it's going to ask if that's you or not right yeah uh mm -hmm. your first few times mm -hmm. you do it so so start over the day before you go to chemo. And then when it starts saying, I don't know if this is you, you just confirm yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. there's still like enough of you going yeah. on that it should be well, able to tell. There's like this much. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even get my name. It's like, and I'm wearing my little hat because I'm trying to just keep as covered up as possible so I can come home and just like wash everything. So mm -hmm. it's like this much in my face. Like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. You know, figure me out. Come it's on, a, it's a good time to have that throwback, and this is this is Touch ID, I presume, on the on the SE, right? I mean, uh, yeah. I think I think I haven't gotten a good good look, but everything I see, it does look just like the eight, and I love the eight. I like this little phone. I here, here's my problem. Um, I I do need to chime in over here. The chat room is actually talking about that. There's a way to do Face ID where you do half a mask at a time. Okay. And Steve is actually stating it's really? alternative face. It's a setting. Mm. Is that like a secondary Ooh. face? Like if I want to. Like... Oh, and Steve, it, it, I'm being corrected. It's Amanda, by the way. Oh, Amanda on <laughs> Steve's account. <Got> it. <laughs> <laughs> but mm, so, so maybe I'll be doing okay. that later. Okay. So let us know how that works. Um, those tutorials, I'm start, I'm sure, are going to start rolling out here as many people are running into that that problem here as as they go. Would out you recognize out. different masks, or do you have to wear the same mask? I 
would no. I, it's more of a form thing than a color, right? As long as you, it's I, I would, I, I, yeah. If, if it's a form thing, then yeah, then it's not going to be a I, big are, deal. Are all your masks the same material? No, because I go in with a paper mask when I go in for treatment, but I wear a cloth mask when I go for walks. And here's the other thing: is like the AR, like if you anything with the AR, like Snapchat or Instagram, those filters don't recognize a face when you're wearing a mask. Right, right. Oh, so it's I like right. mm. okay. Well, there's nothing. I mean, there's a, there's a lot they anchor out the mouth to, right? And it doesn't yeah. know what to do with that. So mm-hmm. I mean, that makes but sense. But even like the ear stuff, I'm like, you can figure out the top of my head. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not enough of it, uh, but yeah. uh, but hey, that's out there, and that's going to be very accessible. That's certainly going to be very accessible to people. A thousand dollar phone, God, I can't. I looked at my thing. I'm like, oh, I'm still paying for this. Phone. I, I'm still fa- fa- paying for this eight. So this eight max plus whatever it was called that year. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I'm, it's it's working fine. I'm not feeling crunched for it. And now this is what over two years on a phone, right? Just over the two year mark, actually, for mm-hmm. me. So. Uh, so that was from Podner. Of course, that's over at the Facebook uh, group. Uh, go over to Awesome Cast over at the Facebook group to check out what's going on over there. Submit your stories, see what we're talking about. Uh, let's get uh, one more story and then we'll, we'll touch base on something. So, Google Meet, which we're using, I got an update for that. Uh, apparently, they are going to be rolling out some, um, they, they had a lot of stuff uh, uh, coming out. Like, Google's really stepped up since this whole, you know, since everything has been happening, uh, they are actually going to upgrade things so Google Meet can see 16 participants on screen in the, in the gallery view at a time. Um, we actually have been playing with this. We had multiple people on while we were playing Rocket League on um, Friday night, and we had okay. like five or six people on, but still it would show only the four squares, and it would just change the squares based on who's been talking more, right? Okay. Like kind of like kind of like when you guys are doing the individual thing, um, mm-hmm. so they are actually going to update it so you can do. We can pull all of like up to sixteen people on one screen and push it out. Uh, alternatively, also there was an announcement that they are going to start to if you're if you're a G Suite user, we are for our Socratic Media and Psychic Media uh, uh, services. That's why we have Google Meet to use. Um, you can start setting up meetings through the email. And actually, you guys, I experimented with tonight. We actually did a calendar invite that has already been a part of this, and it seemed to work pretty easily, too, to bring you guys yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, no problem at all. You you guys brought an email in uh, and, and and just popped in. Um, also, I just found two plugins. One takes the transcription because we were playing with the subtitles before the show last week. And uh, so you could transcribe the entire meeting. I have not tested that yet. And I was afraid to do it while we're doing recorded calls like this. Um, And there was another one that looks like it will also try to pull up multiple cameras as well as an option. Uh, And those are in the Chrome store. You have to be Google, Google Chrome only to get into those. So uh, Google Meets is really kind of ramping up. And I say we're using it here Um, with all the craziness with Zoom. I I wasn't confident with Zoom to do these, Mm -hmm. but like this has even been it feels more solid than what we've done with Hangout for this show for so many years. So it's been, been a good option. I, 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 can we pay somebody to like jump in our Zoom that's like inappropriate? <laughs> like they were talking about <laughs> during Awesome Cast. And be like, what's that? Wait, isn't that what you're supposed to do, Katie? Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe that's yeah, where I'm we make the money. For- oh. You pay me and I'll jump in with something very inappropriate on your work Zoom meeting. And I'll be like, it was hacked. I don't know. Why is her butt on the window? Where'd she get a window? <laughs> <laughs> I have a big piece of plexiglass down in the basement. So that might work. I could have a window anywhere. Yeah, that would that would, that would, would be good. New services hashed right here. This on the is, show. yeah, this is, the, we've, we've launched the cottage industry right here. This is a new Patreon level I have for you. <laughs> the Zoom, welcome to the Zoom bomb le- level. The 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 dud bomb. <laughs> dud butt bomb. Dud butt bomb. <laughs> um, wow. Then the segue then to other business adventures, uh, endeavors. <laughs> Give a shout out right here internal with Sorgatron Media Psychic Media Services. Been helping a lot of people in these times, uh, trying to figure out uh, how they are going to stay connected when they can't be in person, whether uh, new ways to get their podcast together or uh, just uh, uh, figuring out things like your Zoom and go to meeting and and best practices uh, for, for doing these kinds of things. Oh, we've been doing it for a little bit now. Um, I think we're lo- 
looking at 15 years in January of doing podcasting officially. So uh, there's that. Uh, but of course, Sidekick Media Services, um, you know, we uh, from wrestling events to church services, teleconferencing everywhere, every, everywhere in between. Uh, we uh, Sidekick Media Services has you covered with streaming options as uh, your sidekick to your superhero project. But next big thing we help you out with, check out what's going on at Sidekick Media Services dot com and we're having some great conversations with you guys out there about the, about some new endeavors and 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 as i say workarounds and way to way ways to just keep going right right crappy it's just about just keep going and yes. and moving forward <laughs> uh that, and that's and that's been that's been the thing with uh with us professionally mm-hmm. uh it's just is it's trying to make this work um the, the the stuff about Google Meet we we we've, we've used those um mm-hmm. in in my, just my staff and it's actually a really easy solution really nice um it, it's interesting that that, uh, that communications professionals have to relearn how to communicate in a situation like this when we're not all in the same newsroom mm-hmm. but um but yeah it, we're just you know whatever you can do to make this stuff work it's it, it is helpful. Yeah, there's no there's no shouting to Tony across the across the the, the huh. sea of desks anymore, right? Huh. Yeah, huh. no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I can yell at the cats. They don't. They don't. Yo, yell, they, they, and then yeah. just nothing happens. They're like, hey, yeah. it's like, why are you yelling? I don't know. What What's do you? The it's been a while since I wa- I watched a, a good a good newspaper based uh, a show. What, I can, what, what don't you yell like copy? Is that is that what happens? Listen, that... everything, li- listen, everything I know about like newspapers... 50 years ago, 50 years ago, maybe. everything yes. I know about newspapers is the Daily Bugle on the Spider-Man movie. So, I mean, OK, I mean, uh, not not <laughs> terribly inaccurate, but um, think of that more as a time capsule. Because okay. that was okay. that was all a long time ago. <laughs> OK, yeah, that was the Tobey Maguire days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, actually, actually, crappy. You had a. Um, y- you had a story here about uh, the science of well-being. Actually, this is I, um, I have been struck, and, and, and I've posted about this the last couple of weeks. When it gets to Friday, mm-hmm. and I am absolutely crushed. Um, and it's not. I mean, my workload isn't any different. Uh, but but it's it's a combination of everything. It, this uh, if you're in the journalism business, this is a story that does not let up at all. Mm-hmm. And this is it's it's constant stuff um we're, we're struggling to communicate with each other in, in in you know situation that i used to be able to turn to someone who's right here on, next to me and say you know we should do this um and and you know the isolation is is really difficult this whole thing uh and and this is universal on on several different levels but the whole thing is is really really hard uh and i came across um a, a, a link a, a week ago uh, the professor's name is Lori Santos. She's a, a psychology professor at Yale. Uh, a few years ago, she started a class called the Science of Well-Being. Um, the initial version was started because she noticed that her students at Yale, and this and this makes sense, uh, at a at a super competitive Ivy Ivy League school. Um, oh, it, it happens at anyone in college. They, she, they are unhappy. They're stressed out. Uh, they don't know how to deal with it. They don't have the time to, you know, kind of make changes. So she started this course, and it became the single most popular course in Yale's history. Hmm. Um, she really struck a really, really struck a chord with with uh, uh, with her students. Um, what she did in response uh, to all of us having to stay at home and 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 deal with this sort of unprecedented level of of, of universal stress. Because it affects everybody on one level or another, um, is to offer this course for free. Uh, this isn't super uh, techie, I guess. Um, although the the the, uh, the platform uh, Coursera is, is kind of cool to uh, to see how they, that this stuff is managed. But it's not. I, I like. I love this because um, I, I am. I'm okay with kind of the new agey stuff, going to yoga classes and, and burning incense and chanting and blah blah blah. blah. I, I think I, I actually find that stuff helpful. Uh, but I, I'm also curious about the, what's behind it, and, and I think people who are who are maybe not as comfortable with the new agey stuff mm-hmm. will look at will, would, would would listen to this course, listen to lectures because uh, there's video stuff, there's reading, um, and there are actually assignments um, that that you're expected to keep, including um, 
one, a, a series called we rewirements, not requirements, but rewirements, which is where you're training your brain to actually kind of process stuff differently um, and to slow down a little bit. And, and, you know, Mike, you and I have talked about this before, you know, the, the, the idea of mindfulness. Um, I, I know uh, the uh, the Fishing Without Bait podcast uh, gets into this stuff a lot. Um, but in, in this instance, it's it's not just like presented to you. He's like, here, do this. It, it, it also digs into why it works, um, you know, what are our brains looking for? Mm -hmm. um, why, why does this stuff actually help? So I'm, I'm only a couple weeks into the course, but it's available for free. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, a link um, here. Uh, and, but if you, if you, if you search for Lori Santos, L-A-U-R-E-S-A-N-T-O-S, -S, you, you will come across this. And this is through um, uh, courseera.org. Yes. Uh, so, yes. so I'm sure to search through that website will, will uh, help you as well. You can, if you, if you want to give her 50 bucks, you can actually, uh, you, you'll get a certificate when you complete the course, but you can audit it. Same, uh, the same process. You're doing the same work for mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm just, I, 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 I'm really struck by the notion that it's, it's a complete thing. It's not just saying, mm -hmm. oh, you should do this because you'll feel better. Yeah. Um, yeah. it gets into the why and, yeah. and and man, right now, uh, this is the kind of thing that could be really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, because, uh, you know, as I said, this, this is a, the, the stress that we're all experiencing uh, is, is universal at one level or another. Uh, and and this, is, this is only going to help. And that's a big thing between the the listen to the to your parents podcast and uh, what we've done with fishing without bait, and we actually joined those podcasts mm -hmm. together to have conversations last week. Uh, and this this, okay. is, this is what we're because I, they needed it. Uh, when 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 Doug yeah. came on and said we as parents are not okay, I'm just like cool. Let's get you guys together and have a discussion about that. That makes um, sense. Yeah. And no matter what your situation, whether you're dealing with the the the, the kids situation uh, or or what you're dealing with with like I'm stuck at home and working from home and adjusting. Like this whole, like there, there's several things we identified over there. Like we all ha got a shock to the system. Like for me, yes. I'm just like, I should be everywhere else but my house right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> like literally, right, literally right. I should be at this time. Of year. I literally should be, have gotten back from Arizona yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. not to mention the wrestling shows. So, so there's that, or you going to work every day and having that access to people. The only person who's yeah. probably the most fine is probably Dutters right now. Cause she's been practicing this for the last three months. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah. um, <laughs> she's got her own, she's got her own stressors going exactly. on too. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, I, I have a couple of friends that got laid off at the beginning of the March before there was even a hint of this happening to everybody. And it was just like, Oh, yeah. oh wow. You just got a head start. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, but no, it, it's those kinds of things. And, um, I, I definitely, if you're feeling a little rough, uh, around the edges about stuff and I don't, I don't know anybody who's who's just okay right now so um um take a second and uh as jim often says take care of yourself uh give, yeah. give yourself yeah. uh biggest thing is give yourself permission to uh uh pull back a little bit uh and not have to deal with a world crisis plus whatever issue you have to deal with personally that you were probably already dealing with before this right so I, I, I think early on, uh, the thing that Professor Santos says a lot, it, it, you know, she talks about um, taking care of yourself um, and, and, and really making that a priority. That's something mm -hmm. that we, we, we're not good at. No, we're know? not. Even no, if, we're, if, we're, if we're good at helping other people, um, it, 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 at some point, if you're not taking care of yourself, it's going to come back to bite you. Uh, and and that's a that is a thing that I'm learning with this. And one thing what Jim Jim reminds us of what do they tell you on the on the plane? They tell you to put the oxygen mask on yourself before your children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right. So right, yes. Well, I think yes. And like one of the things that I know I've struggled with a lot is when you know, for example, if you're meeting somebody or you're like, this is Katie, this is Dutters, she has this job. Like we're always like tying our identity to our jobs, and so yep. much of us don't have that anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh crap who am i now yeah 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 <laughs> which is right. i mean it's not an ideal system and you kind of it's like this is a perfect time to train yourself to be like no i'm dutters these are all the cool things i do my job is like over here in the list now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just one of the things that's I do. that's that's really smart that's really smart yes. tell me and and help me out when <laughs> I, I have no separation and it's a problem <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> uh, so that's another discussion and podcast uh, that we'll bring everybody in for and probably Jim to help us out too. Uh, sure. Well, hey, you know, there's another option, guys. You can always just leave the damn planet. And that's what's happening. Because, <laughs> and I was just like, because I found about this one. It doesn't and, sound bad. It and actually, so, and so fortunate. Bad. I was so fortunate. I got a last hurrah. I did get to go to Florida for for the first of the scheduled trips for SAE for our design. And the, mm-hmm. the uh, 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 my photographer friend down there was uh, was like was like, I'm going to go see SpaceX launch. And I'm, I'm like, I'm going with you. And I learned about this coming up, and there's an official date. But uh, SpaceX uh, and NASA are going to send their uh, uh, scheduled. We're going to say scheduled because I know a lot can happen. Um, <laughs> and I think it was supposed to potentially happen in April. Uh, but they're looking at the first crewed flight set for May 27th. This will be the first flight with a crew uh, uh, for SpaceX. This will be the first flight with a crew launching from American soil in, since 2011, I believe. So, wow, uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was longer. Holy crap! Okay, I don't yeah. think we've um, officially had anybody since we retired the uh, space shuttles, and everybody's just been going uh, by way yeah, of Russia. Right. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, so that it'll be the first man. Cr- it's it's a supply, so it's going to be man crew, and I believe there's going to be some cargo. Um, now, of course, the cargo last time included a pair of Adidas shoes for some reason. Uh, so, there's that. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can go. Uh, do that as well. Uh, we, 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 you, can, you can do that. Yeah, if we give a lot of money, you can do that. Um, but no, they're sending astronauts up and um, you know, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a pretty significant thing in American space history to return to that uh, aspect. So, and with caution, because I think a lot of people think SpaceX and they think of the videos of the exploding rockets. Um, oh. That's mm. not the part that they have a problem with, and they have thoroughly <laughs> tested the part that people are going in, into. The part that they had been having a the probably the biggest problem with was the self landing rockets, the unmanned automated like the booster rockets that used to just drop into the ocean and then we were done with them with the shuttle. They land so we can reuse them to push more stuff up there. And sometimes they missed and exploded in the ocean. <laughs> so um but that last one was successful and it was like the fifty something like it was like the fiftieth successful landing of, of the rockets, the one that I I saw in person, so that was cool. Anyways, uh, well, starters, you, was this, is this your thought? I feel like Fraggle Rock is yours, right? Yeah. Okay. I just found it. Yeah, this just popped up. Uh, it was from this afternoon. I did, I totally missed it. But there's uh, a new Fraggle Rock series that the Apple is putting out. They're you know they do some their original on Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's some mini episodes. But the fun thing is, is like it's all the, the actors and things um, film this at home with iPhone 11. So they filmed all these segments and put yes. them into a show. And it's going to yes. be really, really cool. I love it. I love it. Uh, and I'm That's afraid awesome. to play the, play this uh, trailer, but it's Apple. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's safe. So, <laughs> 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 well, they probably like send some sets over with some of the guys, right? And, uh, yeah. Dancing night away. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no big montage uh, multiple puppet sets, probably. Or even they just green screen it, to be honest. It's green screen. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's green, green screen. screen. For sure. Yeah, you could do a lot of stuff with that. That's so cool. That's awesome. Hey, well, did you see also uh, out, there's going to be an Elmo not so late talk show? Oh, neat. That's, that's coming cute. on uh, HBO really? Max. Yes, it's going to be on HBO Max, which is their kind of broader play that they're going to be launching in May. Um, yeah, yeah. I believe if you subscribe to HBO Go or now on most providers, it will kind of convert to Max. I, from what I understand, um, that's where I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's where Friends is going, Katie. Yeah. Uh, so, so I mean, big news about that. But they're going to have a lot of new content, and I mean, that's it's the big Warner Media, AT and T giant play. To their their peacock or that NBC has or CBS All Access kind of thing. So, so that's it. But I mean. It's already included your your phone plan or something. Uh, hopefully, and there's going to be a lot of deals. Uh, I think Charter was one of the first that started rolling one out. So, um, yeah, yeah, uh, that's awesome. I, I'm I'm actually gonna yeah I'm gonna have to bookmark that one to see Katie because I love Fragger Rock. I grew up on the cartoon. Did not see much of the show because uh, it was on HBO, I believe. Right. So yeah, uh, and they're also, they're gonna revamp um, Peanuts, Snoopy in space. Well, they, they've had Snoopy in space. Oh, they had it? Are oh, they cool. doing it in the, a second that. season? Is he going back to space? I'm wondering. 
I was, I was, we, I watched it with my mother, and uh, and I was questioning, I was questioning the uh, the the training thoroughness of the um, the NASA space program <laughs> during this whole thing. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, that's a dog. How is how is this okay? <laughs> and then how did the rest of the birds get up there? Spoiler alert. Um. Anyways, hey. Um. One thing that everybody's facing is uh uh especially gig workers and my you know myself doing Lyft and Uber kind of you know I think a lot about what's going on right now. So both Lyft and Uber have announced um essential delivery type uh uh expansions, I guess. Uh Lyft had announced theirs. These these are for the most part uh for Lyft are going to be more business to business. We're talking about medical supplies. Uh we're talking about other goods. Um, just that just need to be delivered, kind of more courier courier service. Uber just had one uh, today. I did not link it in here, but I know I overheard it on a podcast. Um, theirs is is again like Australia, New York City. So and none of these are everywhere. There's there's like I think ten cities listed. Pittsburgh is not one of them for Lyft. Um, but Uber is kind of expanding that. Um, here, I wanted you to take this package somewhere, which is hilarious because people have already been doing that with Uber all these years. I do remember one time picking up a dress at Station Square to take to somebody uh, over in the East End because she needed a dress. I mm-hmm. delivered cupcakes across town that way. You did deliver cupcakes across town. That way. <laughs> you yep. did do that one time. Yeah. So unofficially, and the driver can just be like, I don't feel comfortable with that. Um, so, but but this is kind of going to... Um, um, make that official and explain and it gives something to do for all those workers that that do not have riders right now because nobody's going anywhere officially so plus it just feels so unsafe to be doing that uh as well so but uh i mean that's that's a cool pivot for them i mean i could send i could send stuff to my mom <laughs> yeah she's like she's like she's a while away but uh that, that's still a possibility right so here here mom that'd be, that'd be a good try it ha- would be a pretty good try happy yes. birthday happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> um so that's an option a- anything else here in the rundown you guys want to uh, uh touch on on the way out here Steakums. 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 Oh yeah, oh, Steakums. Steakums. Because, big social media one. So because... I, so I heard about this, and then they didn't really explain it. They just started talking about Steakums and 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 whether Steakums are good or not, instead of what the damn story was about. And literally, like yes. an hour before the show, I found the story about what Steakums was doing. Uh, 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 Mike, were you were you following this already? I I, I not until recently, and I, I wasn't. I, I had no idea. Uh, apparently, the account occasionally delves into sort of existentialism stuff uh and has been for a couple years um but from uh, just like maybe over the weekend or or late last week you know they they started talking about uh about truth and about um uh you know being skeptical as you absorb all the information that's coming at us this sounds Um, like the fishing yeah yeah a little (laughs) bit um and you know we're we're accustomed to, to to getting certain levels of attitude from from brands these days. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Wendy's Wendy's Twitter account is is continues to be uh, come, come totally entertaining. So, um, so but this is this is a whole different thing. So mm-hmm. so um, one of the tweets just to give you an idea uh, from the official Steakum account, uh, Steak underscore um with two M's. Just, yes. just to make sure you get that branding right. Friendly reminder in times of uncertainty and misinformation, anecdotes are not data. Quote, good data is carefully measured and collected information based on a range of subject dependent factors, including, but not limited to, I'm laughing because I'm looking at the Stakeum logo over this, uh, uh, controlled variables, mental analysis, and randomization. Um, Stakeums. There you go. Um <laughs> So, I think uh, this is a much deeper conversation and just with social media, but yes. I think a lot of brands yes. at this point have kind of figured out this is th- this is a big moment in history. How is your brand going to be remembered? Mm-hmm. Are you taking care of your employees? Are you, yeah. you know, are you taking a stand for issues? Are you doing this? And I think it's like, you know what? Screw it. We're going all in. Uh, uh, so and, and, but they, the Stakeums has done this before. This is mm-hmm. this is not a, a, true. necessarily a new thing for them. Um, which well, I, and I wasn't aware until I saw stuff like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. But um, so this isn't 
this isn't a huge pivot for them to 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 delve into stuff like this. Where whereas for some brands, it, yeah, it is. But it's a time mm-hmm. for it to matter the most is the thing. Um, so so reading through this article mm-hmm. with the on the Washington Post that that I shared in the notes here. Um, apparently, uh, the, this company, uh, the, you know, they took over five years ago, and since it's kind of a a quote a family owned brand i believe uh, of frozen foods of course they mm-hmm. were just like we're just going to connect with those ideals and and the person that they're talking to that runs the account was like i just have a notebook where when i hear like you know good anecdotes and and information and, and she's well read and, and everything um you know j- just it's in a notebook and they 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 put that through and and get it approved and and put it out so like they're always just kind of pontificating you know potential stuff to put out there and it's and it's a voice and they're just like this is our voice and and it's a real voice of the company right um and i think it's i, I went back and looked it's consistent too. oh yeah, you yeah. Go, if you, oh yeah you go back it yeah. is it is it is a consistent voice which yeah. is very cool um and and i think it all i think this all really really hits home with this last tweet that they dropped at the end of this article uh that they tweeted recently note all companies have a bottom line, so anything we publish in the form of propaganda to encourage po- is a form of propaganda to encourage positive association and memory with our brand. Despite whatever our intentions, remember to consume advertising and PR with skepticism, even if the message is helpful. Which is them talking about themselves. <laughs> and that's awesome. The self awareness is, so cool. is is wonderful in this. Uh, so, but uh, like, and what, that's great. That's great. Uh, apparently, they have one hundred and thirty-five thousand followers. Uh, is it really that's all, or or plus one hundred thirty-five thousand? Um, but it's it's it, it's a fantastic read, and if you are in the world of social media or considering those things, uh, it's worth kind of looking at. And it really kind of throws. I mean, I, you know, it's it's like you said, people are going to remember who did what in this time, right, Katie? Yeah. yeah. So. So, anyways, um, let's see if there's anything else we need to hit on before we head out. I think it's about time to be wrapping up because I need to put, uh, I need definitely need to put Fraggle Rock on my list. Uh, Premier League football is going to be doing virtual tournaments. Uh, hopefully they can watch their mouse because NASCAR didn't. Uh, <laughs> did you hear about that? That's that's yes, yes, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, either the, the Premier League players will be okay. Some of the Premier League fans, maybe, maybe not. But Premier League they don't, is, they don't get no is soccer for the rest of us, right? I just yes, wanna, okay. uh, it is the uh, the the upper level of soccer in England. Generally thought to be the the kind of premier uh, uh, league on the planet. Okay, hence the Premier League soccer. Yeah, right, okay. yeah, right on brand. Speaking of. Uh, uh, lastly, uh, this is a visual one. If you're on the podcast, I do encourage you to go over to the, um, uh, the, the Facebook group or, or link in the, in the, um, in the, uh, doc, but there's this wonderful video that went around of, uh, a, a fellow in bed, uh, uh, pulls up his controller and, uh, goes to get coffee with his drone. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, and you get to follow the adventure. And they pick it up. There's the barista outside Starbucks. I believe that's that's definitely a Starbucks, and, and uh, delivers it to the drone. It, 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 I love it. it's in a little basket hanging from it too, and you see the basket on the camera just dangling there uh, uh, at 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 a hundred feet. So, <laughs> uh, but no, that is this a, is this the thing we could work out with Slice? Do you think? I you know Maybe. we've been working on those for a while, and we've been saying because we were like. Delivered by a drone. What can we do? Hey, Domino's did it for a minute, didn't they? So I think so. I think so. Got, I, got I, I've, got, I've got, I've got coffee at home, I, but I, but yes. pizza, I, I, anytime. I uh, need pizza. You, you can have a Starbucks coffee at home. I mean, I got a bag of it in the back. That's what that's what I'm uh-huh. drinking right now. I mean, it's uh-huh. nice to go to a thing, but they closed every Starbucks around me. That drone does not have enough battery to go to my nearest Starbucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We're going to have to talk to Rico and see what the uh, Slice on Broadway R&D budget is and uh, <laughs> see what we can do with that. <laughs> so, anyways, um, 
uh, oh, oh, Matt Meehan of, uh, of Bold Sports will be on the soccer, I'm sure. Uh, so there you go. So does that mean – wait, yeah, let's see. Where is it? So Bold Sports has been on hiatus because sports have been on hiatus? Like, Steve, you guys got to get come back and start covering all the eSports conversions here. I mean, I think it's a big opportunity for you right now. Uh, so – Go check that out. Um, while Bold Sports isn't going, we have a lot of great podcasts going over at SarkusTronMedia.com. Uh, your Jag Off Live is coming back tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to have some uh, a comedian and a musical guest again. Uh, we were supposed to end last week, but with everything still going, I think we're still good for the next two weeks at least to keep going with this show, uh, as long as the sponsors are hanging in there. Uh, and again, that, that that the money from the sponsors goes straight to the... Um, the artists themselves uh since they don't have anywhere to play right now or comedian is that comedian com- comedy what's the action verb of being a comedian comedy people <laughs> comedy yeah comedy ing um comedy-ing. listen listen to your parents with matt carlins and whatever lineup of guests uh, cross state guests that we have we learn a lot about new york on the buffalo side uh so and uh but that that is 9 p.m uh, on that Facebook page, listen to your parents, and it's also in the Sorgan Trying to Meet a Master Feed if you want to listen to the past. Uh, like, like we mentioned, Jim Ellermeyer of Fishing Without Bait joined us this last week on that, and so that was a nice crossover there. I think it helped them out a lot. <laughs> so, um, And uh, we still, of course, doing our wrestling shows as usual. Uh, probably video games on Friday night, confirming what we're going to do. We're trying to change up the game. Had two weeks of Rocket League and uh, see what we can mix up. So uh crappy what's going on that you can check out i mean i mean what's i mean what's going on but i mean like that oh. is, is there anything it, it, do you have some select reading that people should be looking out for there's maybe? stuff there's <laughs> stuff I'm, I'm hopeful to to um resurrect sort of a a, a little beer series uh hard to do traditional beer shows right now with my schedule plus uh, all the other stuff fear me from um, home but uh Hear me from home. Hear me from uh, 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 you know remote interviews like this. Uh, we just launched. We being uh, the Post Gazette just launched a um, a, uh, a, a coronavirus newsletter. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have been enjoying the Post Gazette's coverage of the crisis for free, my suggestion would be to subscribe to that newsletter because uh, the paywall is going to go back up here soon. Okay. But, um, if oh. you're subscribing to this newsletter, uh, PG COVID-19 feed, um, and you can do that. There's a, a link to the uh, newsletter subscriptions page on the homepage. Okay. Um, you'll, you'll still be able to access that stuff uh, paywall free. And the paywall nice. has been, and the paywall has been gone down since like the when they started ramping up a month ago. We when we started, yeah, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. they all been down for a long time. We have Good. seen ridiculous Good. traffic. We really appreciate it. Um, and uh, so the. the if you subscribe to this newsletter, which I just launched today, uh, you'll you'll still get that stuff without uh, paywall. Uh, I can say anecdotally, thank mm-hmm. you, Stakeums, um, that uh, <laughs> I have seen more Post Gazette articles and very useful Post Gazette articles uh, in my feed as of late. So that's, I, I appreciate that. I, um, I, I want to say know, that, and it, it certainly. It, it makes it it makes it easier for for people to to share and get involved with that stuff. Um, there's obviously a balance between our need to make money and yes, our need yes. to provide a community service. Uh, so this is a this is a thing we're going to try for a while. But if you, uh, you you can still get that stuff for free um, if you do it through this newsletter. Fantastic! A great great resource. And Dutters is just rocking the um, the uh, 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 Animal Crossing parties apparently. <laughs> yep. All about the animal cross. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Dutters on the That's Twitter. my new thing. I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm I'm Dutters. Um, I like Animal Crossing. That's Hi, I'm Dutters funny. from the Animal Crossing, from your favorite Animal yes. Crossing <laughs> island. <laughs> yeah, with the cemetery. Uh, Kate Marie, PGH on PGH. The Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, again, I I hear feedback about your videos. So. Oh, cool. Some good feedback, good vibes. Yay. Sending your way. Yeah. So. Uh, nice. Go over there. We're gonna see what is up with that, and um, and and especially follow the Instagram stories for your uh, chemo adventure updates. Yeah, <laughs> so I, ask me questions. I don't mind. I, I I love I love sharing the information, and I love being a resource to people about. It, it's it's a thing that it's it's amazing to me that so many of us have gone know somebody who has gone through cancer and chemo and all that stuff, mm-hmm. but we don't know anything about it right. because yeah. no one talks about it, and it's like, no, let's right. talk. Right. Ask right. me questions. Uh, you know, it, it was definitely the thickest responses to 
AMAs I've seen on Instagram stories. It's like, it's like you're like get ready to screen cap this, guys, because there's a ton more. I'm gonna actually. Uh, that's why I'm glad. I'm having late night coffee so I can. Oh, good. <laughs> could power through the rest oh, of them. Okay. Which I love. There we go. There we go. Yep. Yep. That's it's the Mr. Rogers cop from the sign there from the nice. the history. Nice. Center. Nice. Uh, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, producer Missy. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. Again, Steve, go check out Bold Pittsburgh Sports um, so you can just listen back in the archives and remember when sports were a thing. And just, you don't know what day it is, anyways. <laughs> just think it's last month, okay? Yeah. Uh, be like, I can't wait for the NBA finals. Um, <laughs> to thank everybody else who's been popping up in there throughout the week. Thank you, everybody on the Patreon. And again, please, if you like what's going on here, please remember to uh, uh, share, rate, like, heart, whatever the case may be, wherever you may be seeing us or listening to us. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.